Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today we're going to be talking about how Chaos Shuffle is back, because it's a very, very fun game mode, a very, very beloved game mode that a lot of people enjoy, and they're doing a second run of it, and unlike the Lights Out 2.0 situation, there really isn't any updates to this, but there is a lot of things that I noticed this time around that I didn't really notice the first time around playing the uh, original version of Chaos Shuffle, so let's go ahead and chit-chat about it. So first off, I've, I've seen some people in the DBD social media space be kind of like, eh, the rub the wrong way the fact that chaos shuffle is just kind of back with no real adjustments uh, a lot of people were expecting to have some adjustments made to map offerings or items they were able to bring but instead they just kind of plopped chaos shuffle back <laughs> the way it was uh, exactly before besides one thing that we will talk about um and I think that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because that was kind of the only remaining thing that allowed the people to take the casual nature of uh, Chaos Shuffle out of the game was those map offerings and the uh, items that people could bring. Obviously, yeah, the reason that it probably this is the case is because it's very easy to take out items for survivors, but extremely complicated to take out uh, add-ons for killers because some add-ons are either necessary completely change gameplay like there's a you would essentially have to do like a mini like balance <laughs> um list for every single killer in terms of add-ons so i feel like they're not touching items because they don't want to go through the effort of like ranking killer add-ons and determining which ones can and cannot be brought into chaos shuffle and that sort of thing um i think map offerings is kind of like the same way because like it's very easy on Survivor to be like, okay, I'm just bringing Eerie of Crows to make you have a bad time. I have, I have plenty of people with uh, map offerings that they sent me to really bad maps like Batum today. Um, but like on the killer side, there are some killer builds that just don't work without the right map. Like Scratch Mirror Myers does not work <laughs> if you're not on an indoor map. So I feel like they're hesitant to change that for that reason. But I feel like it's just like they just don't have a solution. So they either are still th figuring that out or just like kind of it's not on their radar to make a solution for that. So they're just in the terms of fairness, they're just going to allow those, um, which, you know, people have different takes about how they feel about that. Um, there's a really funny thing like I was going to talk about. Chaos Shuffle is different this time around because there is a bug, at least of uh, right now of this video being uh, released, where um, <laughs> all of the perks are in uh, rank one. So they're all the yellow version of the perks, which are all significantly weaker. Um, this will probably be fixed by the time you watch this, although this is going to be one of those uh, videos that I just put out the moment I'm done editing it instead of like at the usual time. So. You know, maybe you'll see it before those are fixed. But Behavior did confirm that they are aware of that. That is not on purpose. <laughs> a lot of people are coming into my chat today being like, what the heck? What's wrong with this? I, I can't believe they nerfed this. It's like, no, it's not on purpose. Yeah, so if you see yellow perks, like, that's not, that's not something you need to worry about. They will fix that as soon as possible, so. Yeah. Uh, you know what's funny? I actually kind of liked it. Because, like, while it was frustrating when I'd get a perk like Spirit Fury that, like, uh, <laughs> it's already hard to get to activate as it is, but, you know, takes even longer in the banana form. Um, it also identically nerfs both sides, so a lot of, like, the meta perks that would end up on the survivor side of things that they would get randomly shuffled with would also be weaker, so even if they did get a meta perk, it was the weaker version of the meta perk, which was way, way, way more manageable. Um, I don't know. I just like, I, I, I'm a weird person. I'd probably play a, a perkless mode if you handed it to me. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit more lax about this. But I actually liked that the perks not only were random, but l like packed way less of a punch on top of it. It really felt like it was like player versus player action and the perks really did do a minimal amount, which is kind of like the reason and appeal to go to Chaos Shuffle. Some people go to Chaos Shuffle just to get random builds and be like, oh, wow, that's crazy. That's interesting. That's weird. Um, but the other half of people that enjoy Chaos Shuffle are like me, where I'm just like, OK, there's actually perk variety and not always the, the meta stuff and sweaty stuff being run nonstop. So on that end of things, I actually really liked that, that all the perks were rank one by accident. So I don't know, maybe something to experiment with. I did notice overall to return back to the topic of items and map offerings. I, I saw way more of that uh, this time around than I did in the first go around with uh, Chaos Shuffle. I know it was something that people complained about, but it was something that happened to me like every so often instead of like every game, like a lot of people were like making it out to be. But this time around, the second run of Chaos Shuffle, I was definitely seeing that. It was like every other game, it was really strong items or offerings or something like that. So I'm definitely seeing a worrying trend with that. And hopefully that doesn't stay that way because like the, the whole appeal of Chaos Shuffle is to get away from that stuff. So it's kind of sad that I saw more of it. Also, really funny, I noticed there was like less salt. <laughs> I think most people understand that like the vibe of 
Chaos Shuffle is not to take the game seriously, not to take the game super intensely. So I feel like in equal parts, like I got way less salt than I usually do because people are like, oh, well, who cares? I'm playing the casual mode anyways, so yeah, <laughs> like they did. People take things really personally in the game of Dead by Daylight, um, which I'm sure you have definitely noticed out there in your social media time here. Um, even while playing the game in the endgame chat that people like to flame over like the smallest things and it's just really embarrassing and definitely very cringe but it's just the, the way the community is uh but i didn't really get as much of that in the chaos shuffle mode and i like i said i think it's because people don't generally understand the vibe is not that intense it's not that deep so we move on way quicker which is nice i think the thing that i really want to drive home though and this is something that i kind of felt with chaos shuffle one uh but chaos shuffle two here i feel like the the story here is really once again uh the chaos shuffle really really highlights that perks are really really impactful in dead by daylight like perks are really really strong and dictate a lot of how the match goes whether that be on killer survivor like the result is mostly driven by perks and I like I get the idea and the philosophy behind that because it's it, it's technically in behavior's best interest to have perks be impactful, whether that be killer or survivor, because if a perk is really, really good, that means people are purchasing characters that they would otherwise not purchase uh, in order to have access to those really strong perks, which is, you know, not the case of it's like if it's a character that they don't particularly enjoy, they may not just buy them at all. But if they have a perk that's meta, that you can use on any character that you just want the teachable for then they will get them because the only other option other than that is to wait out the uh the scam of secrets uh the shrine of secrets which obviously that is not at all a consistent way to attempt to try and get perks so so people will just buy characters just to get their meta perks and i i can guarantee most people who main survivor own gabe <laughs> they own G gabriel soma solely for the fact that made for this was meta for so long um how many people probably own Clown just for Pop Goes the Weasel and Bamboozle? Like, it's just, it's, but, but don't actually play the character of Clown. It's just a thing in Dead by Daylight that drives sales, which is obviously it's a company. That's what they want. Um, however, on the flip side, I think the dark side of this is that it also causes an extreme lack of uh, player retention because uh, players really get burnt out when their skill expression that they have worked really, really hard to gain is just kind of like snuffed out by a single perk. I'm sure there's been plenty of situations where even when you're trying to not be sweaty or super skill expressive, that like perk power really range true and kind of sours your game experience. How many times have you not been tunneling somebody <laughs> and somebody's running in your face with off the record in DS and forcing you to tunnel them instead? It's really lame and it's unavoidable, but all of that that is down to perks. I think what Chaos Shuffle shows us is that in the absence of these situations, the game is way, way more enjoyable. I cannot tell you how many more people came into chat today saying that they were having super fun time playing Dead by Daylight. They're glad it's back. They hope it stays permanently. And usually when people are coming into chat, it's either to watch me play Dead by Daylight because they don't want to, or they're also complaining about negative experiences they've had in the game and venting about it in my chat as well. Um, I think Chaos Shuffle shows us that, like, if not every survivor can bring gen rush perks and exhaustion perks, if every killer can't bring three to four slowdown, that it's a brighter future for the game. And realistically, the game is not as unhealthy and unbalanced as we seem to think it is. It's just that, like, perks are just, they just dictate so much of the outcome of the game that it sucks the personality that and skill expression that we have as players out of the game. And I feel like the game would be just healthier if we had more of our personality and skill expression shine through. Yeah, what do you guys think about Chaos Shuffle coming back? Would you like to see it as a permanent mode? Or do you have gripes with this mode? I've seen people have gripes with this mode. People like Lights Out and then hate this one. So <laughs> let me know how you feel about this mode down in the comments below. Mode that, this could be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But on that, I will see you in the next video. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.